Alright, but what am I supposed to do from here? Probably not that. When I hear sewer mayhem, I don't immediately think of something I want to be involved in, but this one time, I'll make an exception. All right, you know what they say, I am a plumber, so down into the sewers I go. I kind of expected this to be a water level, just because sewers. So uh, I'm pleasantly surprised to see that it isn't. Uh, and I'm pleasantly disappointed to see that I'm dead. Oh no, I need to hurry. Oh no, oh no, oh no, the poison, it is a coming. I feel like this is a pretty big flaw in the sewer design. Plumbers shouldn't be able to get stuck within cubes. Kill one pokey. Sounds easy enough. And it will be even easier now that I have the power of Thor. I found the pokey. Now I will kill. Am I a joke to you? Turns out murder is easy enough when you have a giant hammer and a thirst for blood. It's not good. I don't have a hammer. I'm not going anywhere without a hammer. Thank God there's another hammer. That was almost embarrassing. Well, almost more embarrassing than running into a singular pokey. I intend to trap this pokey. He will be mine. Oh no. That's not good. Not what was supposed to happen. Oh, thank goodness there's another hammer. Really gotta stop goofing around with these hammer suits. I've been given more than enough opportunities. Ooh, you see the style? See the back jump style, man? Luigi got that drip, though. I promise you, I'm not gonna beat this level. Look, I'm not the best at this game, okay? So when it comes to Kaizo jumps and shell jumps and other bomb tricks and things and such like that, it's just not gonna happen. Send your boy an easy or a creative level. Send one that I can kind of brute force my way through, but don't don't send me one that takes like pure skill like this, because it's not it's not gonna happen. It's just not gonna happen. Okay, this one came with an apology, so that's how you know it's gonna be good. Did I say that's how you know it's gonna be good? Because I meant that's how you know you're gonna question everything after you see the title and description. Alright, big Mario. I trust you here. Swallowed by Mario. I mean, this is a pretty creative level. It's a little bit weird, I'll admit that. But the guy did say sorry when he sent it to me, so I really only have myself to blame for going through with it. I wonder if there's anything more to it, like, oh, you have to get swallowed to help move some blockage in his stomach or something. Looks like Mario's got some serious indigestion, bro. It's fiery up in here. Is that his heart? Am I turning his heart off? Because that feels a little bit like murder. I think I just killed Mario. What have I done? Well, you know what they say. Get swallowed by Big Mario. Escape by shutting his heart off. I think I've heard somebody say that somewhere. So this level says it was inspired by Spelunky and has a world record of four and a half minutes. Me being the gamer that I am, I'm sure to do it in half that time. Avert your eyes. Lots of moles in other plant men. They all want to freaking kill me, but I'm... I was gonna say I'm not going to let them, but clearly that's not up to me now, is it? I don't want to talk about it. I knew this day was coming. I just didn't expect it to come so soon. Don't be surprised if I die a lot, okay? I'm playing very casually today. It's a casual run. Just trying to experience your guys' levels and have a grand old time. And if you see me die a few times along the way, well, that's just part of the adventure now, isn't it? Staying alive can be a bit tricky for me, but something tells me that this is the run, dude. Considering this level isn't that hard, I'm just extremely terrible. The level is actually good. I'm enjoying it. Come no closer. Come no closer. Thanks, Obama. Munch me once. Shame on you. Munch me twice, and what the hell are you doing? I already asked you to stop munching me. We're playing a dangerous game now, boys. Jumping on munchers with the power of friendship. Not unconditional friendship, mind you. I will ditch him the moment I need to to get an extra jump. It's not quite a traditional boss fight, but it's very different than just, you know, Boom Boom or Bowser, so I dig it. Look, I mean, if the Mario Golf reference isn't understood, I don't think we really have much to talk about. You may be able to cook, though that I cannot, but can you slide when I can, good sir? You mousy little bitch. In real life, when I'm climbing trees like a maniac, I'm not actually crazy, I'm just looking for mushrooms. Ladies and gentlemen, a first for me. Managed to jump on a piranha creeper unscathed first try. Are you proud of me? I'm growing up into a beautiful young gamer. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this! Let me live, I've done good things. Come on, there's gotta be a way for me to escape this other than just dying. <laughs> this is the game now. This is the life I live in until you know, I don't live in it anymore. That's a big jump for me, a little green boy. 
and the consequences for missing said big jump were big as well. If you're not climbing trees looking for things to make you healthy, then you're not a squirrel and you're not doing it right. Hey -ya! Hey -ya! Ah, good old Sir Poopus. Okay, Sir Poopus. Making a level where you just go to the right a little bit, and the rest is just optional. Looks like no street cred for me. Do I have the mental patience for Bowser's army camp? I don't have the mental patience to, like, get myself a cup of water without choking. I may not have the mental patience, but I do have the gamertude to give this a couple of tries. So far, so good on the boot camp. And I'm gonna need another box. I'm gonna need that box. Give me that box! I got the box, but at a great personal cost. No, I got it, I got it, but I uh, chickened out. I should have been a brave guy. Wow, I almost died, but I didn't. Thank ants? Guess it wouldn't be right to thank God since ants saved me. All right, it's gonna be one fell swoop of emotion. Wow, that's quite the arm you have there, Luigi. Maybe next time you can use it to punch yourself in the stupid face. I don't think I have the mental fortitude for Bowser's boot camp. So this level comes accompanied with the message, I'll give you hell. Which, to be honest, you could accomplish the same goal by putting five Goombas in a flat level, and I'd still probably die. Wait, what? What even killed me? I literally was not touching a single thing. Oh god, just let me exist. Where am I? I can't see myself! No, the floor is indeed lava. Okay, but what if that didn't happen to me and I was happy? Ever think of that? Boom Booms Lava Lagoon. You have to explode! What the hell, dude? I did that as fast as I think I could have. Which, if I'm being honest, is probably a little bit slow. Get me the hell out of here! Rolling around at the speed of sound. I died. That's the end of my song. It's a more somber take on a classic. Blades and thwomps and ice and saws and fire. All the elements. They lived in harmony. Literally, that's it. They just lived in harmony until they got rid of me. I am definitely dead. I'm definitely going to die! Oh! Okay, I made it in the door. Although, this situation presents its own problems. Okay, I see you flexing on him, dude. Just because you beat me all the time doesn't mean I won't beat your level. And it's a troll, dude. You would make a troll level, wouldn't you, buddy? This just might be the most obnoxious level I've ever had the mispleasure of experiencing. What fresh heck awaits me on this snake block, bro? Is it just gonna dip right into the lava? Is it gonna take me somewhere I don't need to be? Is it gonna disappear too soon? I'm ready for it. Bring on the troll is the joke that it's just gonna take me around this big empty room and then back to the door I need to go into. Oh, it's so slow. It's so slow, I hate it so much. Are you kidding me? All of that was to get to a race section? Are you extra kidding me, bro? This is just a messed up troll level. That's all this is. It's a twisted troll level created by a twisted man to hurt me. Save myself the trouble of doing that again. Just touch it and then I'll wait for it to come back. Yeah, I'm a pretty big genius. I got a C in a community college class once. Waiting for this green snake block so I can play the whole troll level. See, this time I know that the troll is coming. So I wait patiently and then I just hurry and then I get hit in the face with a giant muncher, dude. Bu -bu 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 yes. Gaming mad, <laughs> more like get gaming glad. I didn't realize I was required to be the flash. Get your photosynthesizing ass out of my way. He complied and I still died. Whatever, dude, I don't even care. I care so much, that was a lie. Retreat into your pipe, giant green asshole. Go back into your pipe. Don't you know you're supposed to be staying inside right now anyways? Dude, that's it, I can't. It's so, so upsetting. God damn it. In all fairness, this is a pretty good recreation so far. You got the random enemies everywhere, random geometry everywhere else. It's exactly all the things I've come to expect in a good little Timmy level. That is a felony. I guess I'll hit him with the car and he retaliated with fire, which is more powerful than car. Oh, Jesus, my car broke. I can't even commit the felony that I was sent here to commit. I'll just have to hit him with my bod. He can fly, shoot fire. He's a cat. He's magnificent. I'm just a man in a car. Oh, great. Now the Koopa is trying to commit a felony on me. Finally, somebody has the balls to come out and say it. Oh, it's a powerful squid. 
It would appear you have squeeded your last squid, you son of a squid. I'm gonna kill your children individually, and then I'll kill you with your last remaining one. And then you will know pain. Why are there so many flying squids in this toilet? Look at how many squids that were. What kind of game is this? Look at how fast that wing and one accelerates. He's a load of bullshit. He's so lame. I can't kill him. He's invincible. That's it. I'm dead. I'm toast. The flying squid. He's going to get me killed. There's a second one. I've reached the end of the line. The squidiots have won. I've killed every single squid except for him. He's invincible, dude. You can't get him. He's untouchable. He's going to touch me. Oh, I got him. I'll be the judge of that. Big boy jump. Big boy dump. I appreciated that severely. Can you tell if I'm being sarcastic or not? Jump at the last second. That is the whole level. Oh my god, I'm dead. The anger is piling up. This is making me mad. I could go for some peril. Oh Jesus, the pressure's on now. Get to the next switch for the love of God. I don't know where the next switch is and there's lots of going on. I'm alive though. What is this? What is this? There's so many bullets. Did you see that? Did you see me literally run out of time and still do it anyway? Did I just die to a P switch? What am I supposed to do about this? I can't jump that high. It was rigged from the start. Just because I want to drive home how mature and sophisticated I really am, I'm going to leave this guy a special message. And I'm not going to tell you how to live your life, but you should subscribe to me. And now I'll end the video by ending the video.